mad how many people would go, I don't know, months without sprinting. Try to sprint, they're not able, and they're confused. I am in Portugal, ready for the Under Armour training camp in the warm weather with Steven Scullion and the Dark Sky Distance Elite Team. I can't wait for this. Look around, this is incredible. It's so beautiful out here. Just arrived, we're in the gym now, getting some strength done and then some strides on the treadmill and then we're gonna get out for a run later. But yeah, I'm gonna take you along the journey. Um, I'm not sure what the next few days is gonna hold. I think we're going to the track tomorrow, which should be good. But yeah, I just wanna share it with you and hopefully it's an enjoyable vlog. So we are at the Under Armour Go With The Flow shopping experience. We get to choose an outfit, which is pretty cool. So yeah, just trying on a few things. Gonna take it out for a run later. Today has been quality. I'm gonna go meet the group now. I'm gonna go out for a sunset group run. Just a nice, relaxed, chilled pace as we shake out the legs, ready for a big day tomorrow. We love the velocity so much. Right? So we're on an easy group run. We're keeping it nice and easy as we have a hard session on the track tomorrow, which I can't wait for. So yeah, just shaking out the legs, that's the travel. Today is gonna be a run pack day. We're heading out for an easy run this morning. And then later we're heading to the track and Steven Scullion is setting the session, so I can't wait. Um, I met him yesterday, chatted to him, such a great guy. Obviously, we've been a big fan of his running, his YouTube content, his podcast. Yeah, I just love that he shares, uh, shares so much um, as a 209 marathon runner and Olympian. He's really open and honest about his running, but also he shares tips. So yeah, it's great to meet him and hopefully uh, get some more insights from him later. I think we also get to do a Q&A with him, which is pretty cool. Uh, just uh, grill him a little bit, learn a little bit more about his process and his training and how he approaches his running and maybe get some tips that'll help me get closer to that 2022 in London. It is absolutely stunning out here. Such a beautiful route. So calm, peaceful. The sun coming up. Ah, oh, absolutely loving life. So the route's taking us onto the beach. I'm looking for some hard sand because I'm sinking quick. But look at this. <laughs> this definitely beats the snowy sludge that we've had back in the UK. Ah. As lush as running on the beach was, we're gonna go find the roads again. <laughs> it's tough on that sand, but it's so nice. And now I'm gonna get in the freezing cold water. Oh, here we go. Ah! <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wow, that feels good. Oh, here we go. Quite <laughs> oh, oh, strong. Nearly lost my hip. Oh, that's how every run should finish. <laughs> it makes you, feel, makes you feel alive just jumping in the water. Uh, I miss the beach, I miss the beach. I miss the sun. Bring on the summer. So we've just been for our morning run, which was along a boardwalk by the water, it was so lovely. We did, did then go on the sand, which was pretty tough, but it was so worth it when we had a dip in the sea to finish. Uh, really feel very lucky to be honest, it's just the perfect way to start the day. Um, yeah, just so good. We have made it to the track, it is boiling hot. But yeah, looking forward to getting out there, running hard, haven't done a session this week, so legs are fresh. Um, probably gonna get burnt, I haven't got any sun cream. Uh, see if I can rob some off somebody. But yeah, let's get this done. Bad 
today. Nice. Yeah. 219 in the locker. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna regret it? Oh yeah, regret it. Nice. Come on. So smooth. Just this like just brings my lactate down. Yeah. What was your lactate in the session? Uh, eight. Eight? Yeah. What was the session? Uh, 2K and 550, 12400 in 64, 65, 200 meter jog rest in 60. Nice, very nice. Yeah. Okay, they're good. Well done. Nice and relaxed. Good job. Yeah, a skill I don't possess. <laughs> Nobody does, but like, it's mad how many people would go, I don't know, months without sprinting, try to sprint, they're not able, and they're confused. Yeah. First time you sprint, you feel it all out of control, arms all over the place, legs feel unstable. Week four or five, you're like, lovely. That was a pretty epic day. It's uh, been awesome meeting Scully. Nice to do some work on a track. Very nice weather. Yeah, pretty spot on. We're now going back to the hotel and we get a bit of a Q&A time with Scully. So get to ask him a few questions. Already spoken about a few things, but off camera. So it'd be nice to uh, film some content with him and ask him a few questions and yeah, just see what he's got to say. Yeah, this is a very good one. Um, my, okay, so this is a very arrogant brag, but when I ran 209, I averaged 78 miles per week for 12 weeks, which is frighteningly low for 209. I didn't think in a million years you could do that. If you looked at how much volume I did per week that counted, so like above threshold, you could say, I think it was 35 to 40 percent uh pretty pretty broad uh and this could be a long answer but uh, uh look i believe in keeping things simple you know especially for the marathon and, and one of the things that sharon really taught me in this marathon build up was simple follow the rules um uh, and she was really successful with it and look it's uh our program is going to be high mileage you know, um, whatever, pretty much as much as the athlete can handle. I like volume in the marathon buildup. I like good, solid, long runs in the marathon buildup. And then, uh, again, the, the ancillary work is, um, you know, pretty basic, you know, and, and pretty monotonous. It, it can be boring at times. It's, um, you know, one day of, uh, of threshold work and then one day of, you um, uh, I would say faster than race pace work. Uh, I still like to do track workouts. I just still like to get the legs turning over. Um, but the, the the two biggest critical parts uh, to our marathon training is the long run and uh, volume, you know, and consistent volume over a 14 week period of time or 12 week period of time. It's day three, the last day in Portugal. We've just done a nice easy run down to the beach. Beautiful sunshine, a great way to start the day. And I've also got another run later to finish the camp, a nice steady run on the roads. So a good day planned for the final day. So I'm off on my final run of this camp, a few steady miles as I keep building my volume towards the London Marathon. Always mean it's the right thing to do because yes, you can stay healthy, but you can just burn the aerobic system out where you get tired before you get fit. The goal is breaking the body down that optimal amount, being able to recover, and hopefully in two weeks being a bit faster. Because that thing. 
Guys, look, I just want to say well done today. And if you haven't had enough fun already or you're not excited enough, I have a little surprise for you. This is the new Elite Kit. And you're each going to get your own Elite Kit that you can wear on race day. And hopefully it just gives you that extra boost to perform, you know, at that top level. So this is your kit. This is your uh, kit. Well cheers, done mate. today. This is your kit. Thank Guys, you. honestly, brilliant job today. Thank you, mate. Thank and I hope you. in your next race you nail it.